Yeah. Okay, we got the uh, snap down to the front headlock. We're going to pull off base. We're not losing the shock this time. We're going to move to our arm side. So we snap down to the front headlock. The head's included in the say I got my arm over uh, their right arm. We with me in our brains right here. You guys may not be because you weren't here right now. Snap. I'm going to keep the head. I'm going to release my grip. I'm going to turn the corner and grip. Uh, reach for high crotch or high on the thigh. If I can reach the knee, this is okay. Can I borrow you? Yes, sir. I tell you what, let me borrow a, uh, a, a linear torso here. It might be easier to see. It was not a knock against you. It's pointing out. So we're here. Pull. I'm keeping the head. I can hold it as a chin, hook if I want. I'm going to turn the corner towards the arm side and for the crotch or the leg. Okay? Not a problem. I got to get it turned over. If you can see my head, I mean my chin or my face at any point, you're not doing the cradle. I've got to get the top of my head into his ribs, and then I'm going to be pulling on his head, pulling on his leg, and driving it. And once I drive, we'll see these hands are already pulled together. I'm not going to go for a stack because you guys we're not working on the pen here. We're going to be working for some ground and pounder submission work. So you with me so far? We got the yes. snap, front headlock, pull off base. Going to turn the corner. I keep the head, turn the corner. Grab with the high crotch of the leg, head in the ribs, and immediately get to that cradle. There's one alternate way you can place the head, and that is a head under lift. You're going to find that's going to work maybe better with bigger guys. I'm going to spread you out. Win. See, you're still in. <laughs> still <laughs> in. Let's say his base is really tight and strong. I'm going to do something that seems counterintuitive. I put the back of my head under him. As I'm driving into him, I'm lifting with my head. And that still gives me the exact same turnover, but I just needed a little bit of elevation out of his hips. What will not work for you, unless he's being a chump for me, is this. Don't be a chump for me. No, it can't be this. It's going to have to always be you using your head either into the ribs or the head under the hips. Does that make sense? Don't worry about trying to go all the way. I mean, trying to get to a stack position, and that's where your, your tradition comes from. Because we don't need that yet. We want to start setting up some subs. If we stack him, we're actually over-rotating him and putting him back in the game. We don't want that yet, all right? So let's try it. Snap, front headlock to a near side cradle, either the top of the head or the back of the head. Okay? Yep. yep.